Look, they updated the website. Let's see. Ah, this is from the leaked videos. So I guess they weren't taken down because they were fake. There's also more now. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Uh, what? <sighs> Boy. That escalated quickly. Some things are pretty vague at this point, but we're pretty sure of at least a few things. Are the promotional videos fake? It depends on how you define fake. If you mean that these are just real people, that's a big no. Yesterday I tried to establish a link between Maya, who's a confirmed Neon, and the promo videos. We also found some evidence that the videos are computer made, like the glitching doctor and the pills in her hand that lack physics, as they never moved inside the container. Also, in this new teaser, the Neon Yoga character's feet seem to be levitating above the carpet. But I found some press release materials and I'll leave you all the sources in the description. As you can see, Maya in addition to two other characters from the videos are in the exact same environment but each with their own data. Also, notice that their brains are structurally different. Some have more capacity than the others in a specific area, which means each one has their own personality. And even better, we have a quick demo of Karen, the airline worker. Her expressions are very human, but she feels slower than her promo video. Throughout the video, her general brain area's outline remains the same, but the activity of her brain and speed of thoughts are dependent on what she's thinking of, which is illustrated by the firing movement of her neurons. Star Labs say, scenarios shown at our CES booth and in our promotional content are fictionalized and simulated for illustrative purposes only. So I'm guessing what they mean is they scripted what the characters say to illustrate future possible scenarios of what Neon can do. For example, I think they're trying to say that they don't have a Neon physician right now. They scripted that to show us how it would feel like. But feel free to tell me what you think. Also, Neon is not a digital assistant in the sense of assistants like Siri or Bixby that try to grab your info from the internet. So you can't ask Neons about the weather for example, because they're supposed to function just like you. They won't magically know everything, instead they'll learn slowly from their environments. So they can basically be trained, put it in a hospital and over time it will act like a physician. In a gym it will be a fitness trainer. And of course you should be able to take a developed Neon and use it in movies and video games. And the cool thing is, Neons can connect and learn more about us, gain new skills and evolve. Evolve. Right. Star Labs say they don't want to replace us. A spokesperson told CNBC, We're not looking to replace human jobs, but rather enhance the customer service interactions. Have customers feel as if they have friends with Neons. Can Neons be used in deepfakes though? Star Labs say no. The avatar can be based on a real person's appearance, but the technology used is fundamentally different from deepfake or other facial reanimation techniques. Cora 3 does not manipulate an individual scene, videos or sequences. Instead, it creates unique behaviors and interactions of neons in real time that never happened before. Thus, Cora 3 creates new realities. Neon is expected to launch this year as a beta with a few partners. They're aiming to provide a subscription service to corporations and individuals, but no info on prices yet. The first Neon seminar is at 2pm Pacific Standard Time, and I'll keep you updated. So make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.